Hi all, this is Master Munch and welcome to a brand new campaign playing with Warhammer 3 and we are gonna start a campaign in Immortal Empires with a new added mod. Well, the mod was already there but now it's a new version where instead of just being able to recruit her as a legendary hero with either uh, the um, Mao, Miao Ying or Zhao Ming, you can use her and have her as her own playable faction in the game and it is Ying Ying the Sea Dragon now she does have an array of different units unique to hers as you guys can see the Jade Sea Pirates for example the Sea Dragons Hatomoto even the Dragon Fleet Marines and a cool ass summon unit but it takes a bit to get because you need to upgrade her as Pos as much as possible I believe I forget which is the level and here her stats faction effects Kevin campaign movement range plus 8 for all my armies which is very very good missile f missile damage 15% for dragon fleet marines which are these guys uh, income from ports 10% which is wonderful diplomatic will age minus 40 with dark elves and lizardmen that's not very good uh, especially the because of where we start which we'll go over in a second campaign movement is disabled when recruiting has as access to shipbuilding is not a lot but it is it is very useful for her um, this is obviously the lord effects leaderships plus six when in foreign territory lord's army charge bonus lord's army and harmony three plus four ying now in the map we do have we start here in the riverlands i believe or the eastern provinces but she starts somewhere in lustria which is maybe here or even here. No, I think I do believe it's in Illustria. I forget, but you do start with a territory in Cathay, but she is alone invading Illustria. And uh, let's just go with the. Where is it? The settings. I like to put it like 880 because I do like to feel it as it actually is, but we can do like 100 and. 50 to 200 it can appear we are gonna play on normal normal because I haven't played too much of uh, immortal empires and uh, the, I, and this is a new campaign with with a new faction which also starts with a in my opinion a hard beginning I played a tiny bit just to have a feel so let's get started with our Ying Ying the sea dragon campaign and here she is, Ying Ying, the Shogun Sea Gun Dragon, and we are in Lustria, as I believe right off the Volcanic Island or the Star Island, something like that, that I forget. But yep, we are here surrounded by Lizardmen, which we already start a uh, war. Before anything, let's just check. Again, the Sea Dragons have the Mongo, a couple Jade Warriors, Peasant Long Spearmen, two Jade Sea Pirates, Dragon Fleet Mar Marines, the uh, Sky Lantern and Grand Cannon that is going to be incredibly useful and as you guys can see we do have a ship building with Yin Yin let's just here check the the browser so yeah the ship cabin great cabin admiral champ ad admiralty 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 chambers there you go English royal fleet command and we also have sailors rest mustering stations gun depot munitions locker Grand Ordinance and a couple others buildings here and there with now Gao Cannons. Okay, Slayer so Cannons which allows us to get Ogre Whalers, which is something I very much am looking forward to. Ship Depot, depot Mercantile Stock Room, Treasure Fleet Vault, Sparring Ground, Fighting Clubs and Marine Train Regiment. I am using other mods besides just the Yin and the Sea Dragon and I'll put them all in the description of the video guys for you to check out at your own leisure. But yeah, let's go here, look at her, and she has the Admiralty of the Great Dragon Fleet with all of that, those effects. And everything here, you guys can see she's a very strong unit. And with the skills, let's just have a quick look at hers unique ones. This one's my, uh, probably my favorite one because the uh, campaign movement range is gorgeous. But the creme de la creme, the great thing is the queen of the Jade Sea, a humongous, essentially floating, flying castle 
with cannons all over, which is incredibly powerful, and I can't wait to actually unlock it. But obviously, we're gonna go with Brute Master. And before we do anything dragon. here in Lustria, let's go have a check. Actually, let's just go here. Always Celestial Lake, because you are still Cathay, so you still have the Witching Compass, and you still have the access to the Ivory Road. We are. I do like to go for growth first regardless and then we'll go here and check our provinces in southwestern Cathay we have a whole province which is really really nice and we are going to use this for now because as you guys can see there is a crap Lord load Magistrate of enemy uh, fleets which is a, 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 a new faction added the JC pirates which it's a bit weird because it's kind of like a vampire coast, kind of not because they can recruit Cathay death. units and vampire coast units and they don't really have upkeep but if you guys want to check all that you can uh, the book of grudges uh, he made a very very good video just just very recently go check his channel out incredible youtuber if you like warhammer and total war but um, we can all. fight because these are our allies and they actually have a very good army but I have found that the best way to do it is a bit cheeky and kind of abandon them because I am not gonna fight all of this because there's no I point. What we'll do is I'm I the show really cool. the what we'll do we'll simply go to Li Zi. Li Zhu. Sorry, Commander. I will butcher all the names. Recruit a couple of these guys, and with the garrison we shall hold. First thing that you should do is build up Sibian Quarry. But there are some very cool buildings uh, from some i think the mod that i play with the landmarks for example the crow's nest which which this is ridiculous grand vision on all regions within kate agent success chance plus 10 percent agent success chance plus minus uh, 10 percent but the garrison is amazing and actually has a very cool description if you want to read that out um and where's the other one liu temple does have li temple which does ha doesn't have a a description at the moment but i'm sure you will have and it's also a very very good building and because we are the sea dragon in the ports we have the recruitment options for jc pirates and dragon fleet marines as well as the sea dragons Hatomo when we go all the way up now one thing i have noticed is that we can only recruit the ogre whalers with yin yin I'm not sure just because the mod has just been out if it still is going to be updated or something like that. But certain units we, you can only recruit with Yin Yin, which gives some flavor and I agree and understand why it needs to be so. As she herself cannot recruit at all units that they can have with her uh, fleet and her unique uh, building or like ship. And we are going to start with, yeah, this. I know we need this one but the tariffs we desperately need the tariffs and we're too too far away on the, the Cafe anyway. I'll, I'll worry about this later let's go to the Abbey road because we do have access okay this is not the worst uh man eaters and man eaters with iron fists they're all right i'm not that particular to use i rather have more halberdiers because uh, crossing that many ogres is a pain we are going to get the max and we're going to check which one gives us the most money. The most money is Reichland. So we're going to go to Reichland and visit the Empire. Let's dispatch it. In a couple of turns, hopefully we'll get a little bit more Master money. And hopefully this province. guy will be able to hold them off. And I am going to rename you so I know who you are. We're going to use the title Sea Lord for our magistrates and then we can even give something to the actual uh, dragonborn or Lord the magistrate. Yeah, sorry it's been a while the dragon blood yeah, yeah we can give them some other names a but for now we'll keep this strategy. army which actually has celestial dragon guard which is really really good expensive but very powerful we do have some dragon fleet mariners two jaded crossmen and two cannons so this is a very strong army strategy. with the garrison we'll be able to defend Mobilize. very nicely against them We've done everything that we need to do in Cathay. Let's do some diplomacy because the Celestial Loyal is... Yes, many nice, okay. Which some more money. Perfect. We cannot have anything else. Yeah, the JC Child Pirates will have to nine. destroy them from Pirate Coast. It's kind of like in between, which is very cool. Mm -hmm. 
There actually. are possibilities here. You know, yes. uh, but first we must negotiate. Well, we're not gonna find the burning wing nomads, and I do not want to fight them at all. So let's do I this. Will. And maybe eventually they'll give us some money for trade rights. I know it's not very nice, like allying from vampires, but Ying Ying is all the way here. And again, the book, the Great Book of Grudges, did set, say something very cool that I love Warhammer, Child but I actually nine. am not that well versed in the lore so i didn't know that ying ying in the old versions actually did invade Cathay and actually did uh that she was pushed back eventually but yeah we do start the campaign with two territory two regions really really far apart so you guys let me know because i don't know the best way to play it's really like what uh, whatever we can do i really love maritime factions that focus on the sea and that's why i really wanted this to be my first let's play of warhammer 3 immortal empires and you guys let me know what you rather want. You want us to have an empire in Cathay and try to hold this one, abandon Cathay and go for Lustria, abandon Lustria and go to Cathay and then come back later. Let me know. But for now, we're gonna here fight this battle, which is gonna be very, very interesting. Because if we attack the city, it's gonna be horrible. All right, this is not that easy of a fight. We do have some how they have a dread sword. It's called terrain. Let's see what happens here. This is a bad terrain. I'm not that. It's a pure victory. I'm not sure if I can win. Mm. Not very convinced. Let's quick save. And let's see what we can do. First battle of the contender. She is Ying Ying herself, the sea dragon. Obviously, we need to wait a bit. Sorry, before we we transform, but she does have her own unique unit model. Now, this big ass guy, love them. Hell yeah! But, uh, yeah, this is not gonna be an easy fight. And yep, 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 yep. We are going to go here because I have no qualms. I am by no means, and I played a lot, not a lot, a good amount of Warhammer 3, but not Warhammer 3 actually, Warhammer and Total War games, but I am not an expert. And yep, we are going to stay here. We're going to use you to try to give some shots, but this King Cohort might really do a number on you. What we're gonna do is put you guys there, you right here. See, I wish I had more spears because uh, it's a lot of large things that's gonna come at us. Now the good thing is that these pirates are fairly alright in melee, so they can pack a good punch. So let's just put you guys this way for now. You kinda have. We can always move you a bit for your own. Uh, that, then we really, really calm ourselves. Obviously, Master you know, of the be right there. And let's get started. Defenders are we gonna move Cate. towards us, or are we gonna have Make to? Your ancestors proud. No, they are actually are and moving ensure towards our us. Empire Ooh. is forever glorious. Um, if this is fine, I think the cannon. Descendants of dragons! A little bit, let's just move. Shenyang send us! More. I always forget about the Iron Hail Gunners! Bringing harmony! The dragons ask! Leading the can way! Change her. Uh, we can use this anyway. So let's go and start because we might really need Eight wins to, to me! Use her to hold the dread sorry. So let's check out her. Unison! 
Two of these broadside barrages. No, actually, let's just wait. A bit. Let's, 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 come on, cannon. Run the cannon! The good thing is they're really, really powerful. The trees! Kill it. Here we go. Don't let Cannon. it come back. Uh, the celestial faithful. We are holding. You guys Move as wind. Attack in unison. Run, boys. Side. Defenders of Cathay. Where's the scrap? Fight as one! Whatever is required! 
of it because obviously but the more we kill the most money we yes. gain and we desperately need the money. Let's try to kill these guys because we are heavily outnumbered. Here we go! Moving fast! Praise the dragons! And the unit came back streams as well. There must be older. And yeah, my computer is not like a, a really point. strong gaming computer, so I do not have the graphics full on. So sorry about that. I am playing on a gaming laptop. So I do have certain limitations with graphics, but still everything. They are here. The winds of magic blow for us. Candle fire, doing damage. Lizards, here. these are the, the marines, very full color scheme. I love the color screen of Union and this mod. And these are the pirates, the pirates are actually pretty dope. Look at that, all like older units that size of two months, like they look straight up like pirates. But well, there you go, I think this is it, and we can end the battle. There is this army, and if you take the city, this army, this army, and the other army will just all gang up on you. So it's actually better to start and try to take out as many of them as possible. And I should go straight for. Should go straight for Lightning Strike or Logistician, honestly, with, with her. So I'm gonna go with. Uh, the attrition one because we're a gonna be moving around ancestors. quite a bit we don't want them to celestial get us ancestors still take the city but then we defend the city against these two guys okay. don't want to take the city right now because I'd rather fight the ocean, no open, and uh, keep moving my for a bit. I don't want to be bogged down in one territory where they can just like siege us out. So let's do this. They can't reach us, and we will Service gain is more. We need a stronger front line, so we just need bodies, and those units Shogun are perfect. Gun Lord We're, back. We're a bit expensive, but let's go for it. Now let's go on you and actually give you this. Because then it will give us a tiny, tiny bit more money. Just check all of this. We can't do anything. Duck. You are a bit one? more friendly with us. Now, next turn, they most likely will attack us here. So let's see what happens. And there you go. First turn of the Yin Yin, the Sea Dragon campaign gone a uh, big ass battle i mean not too big but there was a huge feral dread saurian which always scraps the bejesus out of me like i i love that unit even though it is just a sponge for uh missile fire as you guys saw with the cannon if it wasn't for those uh, annoying trees we probably could have shot a lot of them and it's just um, uh, a way to keep them away from your missile troops and there you go see they they beat the unit the the army but now they're all of them are uh, battered and we do have a relatively okay sized garrison um, I think Lord we might even win Bought if it. they attack us I with an auto resolve 
before. We're gonna still spend some money there. We're not going to. This is built, so we we're still losing money, but not that much. Lord, we did find these respect, dudes that they do want to trade. For I am a sanctioned representative and of the non aggression, kings. actually. And just a tiny bit more money, or rather, yeah, that's fine. Cafe. Give me money. Does anyone else want to trade with us? We're very cool. We're the you, cool sea dragon. Nope. Okay, but now we're not losing money, which is great news. We are not gonna finish the first episode losing money. We are going to be besieged. But with this garrison now, Lord plus no, this army plus this garrison, we should be able I to. I serve only the them, dragons. Hopefully, famous last words. But let's see. Let's go check on Ying Ying. Ooh, okay, and there you go. They did move their army here. Uh, they, they can reach us with this one. They can reach us. I don't. Oh, I. I, mean, I want to make sure they can reach us with both armies. So we're gonna we're gonna keep moving and keep. Recruiting. I will not tolerate. Uh, yeah, still more. Mm, no, no. Yeah, yeah. We more holding with the cannon and everything. We need more holding power, and because there's a lot of large of enemies Catholic. against us, we will need all the help that we can get. But there you go. I think Dragon I'm gonna finish the episode here. This might be a bit shorter. That I lost track, or a bit longer than usual. I will see on the second one. But there you go. Think. Uh, so this is the Yin Yang Sea Drag campaign. And let me know in the comments what you guys think. Should we stay in Lustria and Cathay? Should we abandon one or the other, or should we go for both and really have Yin Yang uh, have a new little venture before coming back to Cathay with a lot of money and gold? If we want to really just sack and destroy things, or, or do we actually want to try to make an empire here against Lizardmen and all the other factions while still trying to hold? our territories in Cathay. We're gonna have to deal with the caravan issues and all of that, but that will be for the next episode. So thank you very much for watching the first Yin Yin the Sea Dragon campaign. Hope you all enjoyed and see you all next time.